Now we're sighting in with Shooting USA. The guns, the gear, and the information to get you on target. Well, first up, a combination of products that will help answer a regular email question. The question is, what is the optic combination Jerry Michalak uses on his AR in competition? And in the pro tips he does with the rifle. Well, here is the first piece of that puzzle. This is the US Optics SN4 Rifle Scope. It's a one to four power variable optic. And as you saw in the last segment, it is available with options for different reticle designs. There are also options for different colors of anodizing. The tube is 30 millimeters. The objective is 22 millimeters. The eye relief is fixed, as is the parallax. Windage and elevation adjustments are in 5 8 MOA clicks, and the unit weighs just a little more than 25 ounces. Suggested retail, just over $1,100. Now, the next piece is a quick change base from LaRue Tactical. This is the SPR 1.5 one piece quick change mount. This setup mounts your optic one and a half inches above the rail. LaRue has other options depending on the end user's need for clearances. The LaRue mounts allow the user to quickly remove and replace an optic with a guarantee that the optic zero will be maintained. This is a guarantee that other manufacturers can't make, but LaRue Tactical stands behind it 100%. This is especially important to our fighting men and women downrange because a loss of zero in the field means a lot more than just a bad stage score. The LaRue Tactical SPR 1.5 single piece scope mount is a little under $200. Now this is the piece that most of the email questions are about. This is the 45 degree offset mount from Matt Burkett. This little guy will accommodate all the popular red dot optics as a secondary aiming device for the in your face targets. The mount is fully reversible and takes up less than an inch of Picatinny rail space. The geometry here centers the red dot optic over the bore at a 45 degree angle, which makes zero setting easy and repeatable. When you see Jerry flip his rifle to the side and take the close targets, this is the mount he's depending on. The Matt Burkett offset mount is $120. And this is the red dot optic Jerry chooses to sit on the angled mount, the J-Point red dot from JP Rifles. This is a non-magnifying optic with a 21 and a half by 15 and a half millimeter sight window. Mount it up and adjust the elevation and windage to match the hits out to 25 yards. And the four MOA dot will lead you to fast close in hits. The power comes from a single wafer battery. The whole thing weighs just 14 grams. The J point red dot optic is $300. So get all that mounted and you are shooting like Jerry. Well, that is some high speed gear for sure. And I've got a couple more things just as high speed and also intended for the competition shooter. First is the Titan AR Comp from Eric Lund and SJC. Now, Steve Breeding and John Nagel are most famous for their custom open division Glocks, but with this, they're moving into the AR market. The six side ports are angled back in a V pattern to help reduce recoil, and the two ports on top vent gases up to prevent muzzle flip. And when you watch Eric running his rifle, you can see that the system works. The Titan Comp starts at about $90. Now, if you're looking to move up in class in USPSA competition with your Smith & Wesson M&P, you're going to need this help from Taylor Freelance. These are base plate mag extensions to add capacity to your high cap magazines. They come in brass or aluminum. Well, this is the quickest way to take your M&P out of the production division with the 10 round capacity and into the limited division where the only rule on capacity is determined by the length of the magazine. Well, these designs fit that rule and will give you 19 rounds of 40 cal in the Smith high cap mags. The Taylor Freelance extended floor plates for M&P start at 29 bucks.